High expectations based on what I'd learned as being the ambassador for Natural Diamond Council. I knew the story of the diamond mines in Botswana and the impact that they have on the country, but seeing it firsthand was really completely beyond what I expected and the profound nature of it really hits home once you're in Botswana. Oh, I feel so lucky and it's so incredible to be here and to learn from OPR Guide about all the work they're doing here and it's breathtaking. This place is called Pala Center and this is one of our main water holes where our animal drinks. It's the work they do is so incredible and, and over this trip getting to see right now the conservation and how they're protecting the animals. When I landed into Arapa, you see the mine. The first thing that hit me when I went to this mine was there was Ira, the CEO, who is so inspiring. She has been at that mine since the very beginning, was the one that saw the potential and have, they've mined the biggest rocks out there. They, their speciality is these big, raw diamonds. And she is sort of running things alongside Nassim, who's the, the manager of the mine. And they were just so incredibly powerful. We went to De Beers headquarters, which is the vault of Botswana. And within there, they have all these rough diamonds. I was led round by this woman, Pat, and two other women who are completely the highest senior positions. She was just telling me how when she looks at a mine, she sees the future, she sees schooling, she sees this, she's witnessed the growth of Botswana and how it's changed um, since these, these mines were discovered. And I was walking around, having this incredible tour and seeing all these rough diamonds in their pure form. And they are being sorted into size and color and into type. It was incredible holding them. Do you feel this energy? I toured around KGK, which is a polishing and cutting facility for diamonds. So it's in Botswana, they're doing it all on site, bringing the business into Botswana, the country of the mining. Their ambition is for locality to employ as many people from Botswana. They have an education system on site, which I saw, which is training up students to be able to, and they're 100% absorbed into the company, so they've got guaranteed work. It was incredible witnessing the skill and the technology that goes into these diamonds. And this, this facility has its own gardens, which feed the employees, run by this incredible woman who is so passionate about the vegetables. and they have solar panels, they're recycling the water. There's a creche so that if mothers are working there, they are able to bring their small children. And I also went and visited these incredible kids, like two-year-olds. One of my favorite experiences was visiting a school in Arapa, and I met this class of 10 and 11-year-old kids, and they were just so bright. So, like, so ambitious, I was asking them all what they wanted to do, and there was presidents, there was vets, doctors, rappers, <laughs> um, and I just felt so privileged to share in that day with them and their amazing teacher, Emily, who just dedicates everything to these kids. She calls them her babies, and the school is incredible. The children in Botswana have access to free education. The experience I've had in, in Botswana and, 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 and witnessing these schools, hospitals and conservation and uh, really the communities um, has really increased the value of these diamonds. There's such, there's such depth and emotion and meaning and a story behind them. <laughs>